Well, an actress and producer <laughs> had a helping hand in the latest Antonio Banderas. Ladies movie. and gentlemen, everybody, welcome Natalie Byrne to the Woo! show this morning. Natalie, how are you? Hi. Good morning, everybody. Um, great. Thank you for having me. Thank you for joining us. I, I, when I saw Expendables 3, and Expendables 3's got all these actors, you know, that's the whole point of the thing of all these people that have been in all these action movies. And then you popped up on screen. And I'm like, who is that? Who is that person? You stole that movie. Ah, oh, thank you so much. I had an exciting time uh, filming it and producing it. Um, I'm super grateful for Millennium Media uh, to come in and help me out and put the whole movie together. Um, it took me five years to make this movie, and finally it's out today. So you can guys check it out. It's out on, on demand and in theaters, um, starring Antonio Banderas, Kate Bosworth, uh, myself, um, two chains. I mean, it's a, it's a great, fun action thriller, film noir type of film. So I hope you enjoy it. So fun. Now, now, do me a favor. Uh, you know, behind the scenes and stuff. I'm getting a little older. I look in the mirror and I don't feel so great about myself. Sometimes, did you ever see Antonio Banderas just looking shabby? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't think so. I think, uh -uh, no, he is just, I, I've mentioned it before, he's an ageless actor who is just uh, portrays each character like, like with so much passion. And he actually like, he looks amazing still. I think he's, he's great. I don't even know how old he is, but he still looks very, very young. And especially in this movie, like I've, I don't think anybody's ever seen him in, in, in a film like this before. So the way he portrays this hitman is, is great. I, I think you should check it out for sure. There, there so is, unfortunately, not yet. <laughs> he does some bad things with the golf club. I'm just saying, people. He, he do not. If you see Antonio Banderas with the golf club, run the other way. Run the other way. He's great. Yeah. No. And and the funny part is, I don't think he actually plays golf. So that was, that, that's how amazing he is as an actor. He just picked up that golf and he knew how to swing it. <laughs> like a professional. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. Uh, uh, you got another movie that's coming out soon, and I'm sure you can't tell me a lot about it, but can you give me one story about Black Adam, just something behind the scenes or how you got involved in that? Um, Black Adam, yeah, that's that's a big project. Um, DC coming out next month, actually. Um, I'm super grateful to be involved with that project as well. I auditioned, I got the part, um, which is huge always. Whenever you get a call from your agent saying, hey, you booked it, that's something that, that's the reason why I guess we're in this industry to get that phone call. Um, what can I say about the shooting? I mean, it's just, it's it's so big. It's it's the sets are incredible. The amount of crew and people that work on that on that project are just it's it's enormous. So can't say a lot about it, but okay, I can I say that it's just it's going to be huge. I totally so understand. I, can, I don't I don't yeah. want the DC cops coming to arrest me either. Uh, uh, do, do, did you ever see The Rock looking shabby? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> no, that guy works out so much every day that I don't think he's ever going to be shabby. No. <laughs> Natalie, thanks for joining us. The Enforcer's out now. Go see it. It looks fantastic. And you got a panel at the uh, Catalina Film Fest you got to get to. I'm here right now. You're here, here right, right now. now. <laughs> okay, so if I can build a time machine, I will be there at 11 to see your panel. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Nice Bye. To meet you.